Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay, I'm going to send uh, the link there in WhatsApp. Uh, let's wait one minute for the people that are logging in right now. And we'll get started in just a few minutes. Okay, hello everybody, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. All right, I hope you guys are having a good night. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to learn uh, today a new skill, okay? So we are in week number one, all right? And week number one, uh, we're going to look at reading, right? So this week we'll look at reading. Next week we'll look at listening and then writing and speaking. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me share my computer with you. Okay, very good. So hemos aprendido the type of questions. That's, that's really what we want to do, right? The reading section is very important that you identify the different type of questions, right? So tenemos diferentes tipos de preguntas. Uh, for example, uh, facts and details, que también se llaman factual questions, the same thing. We have negative factual questions. That's the one that we were looking at, right? Uh, there are questions that have to use, you have to locate the meaning of a word. Ya más adelante vamos a ver ese tipo de preguntas. Si algunos han visto el YouTube video, los videos de YouTube, del, del examen de reading, the TOEFL, um, ahí van a ver todo este tipo de preguntas. Uh, ahora vamos a ver inferences, uh, vamos a ver purpose or rhetorical questions, paraphrase, coherence, main ideas, and logic of the information, okay? So these are the different type of questions that are on the test, right? Now, I cannot give you the answers for the test, right? Because every test is different. But I can help you be familiar with each question and use different strategies for each question, okay? So that's going to help you for the taking the test. Okay, very good. Uh, be most uh, factual questions, be most negative factual questions, uh, remember that they have to, they have the word, right? A special word there, accept, Ex accept, okay? Accept, es la palabra, right? So uh, here I have to look for 
three that are in the in the paragraph and select the one that is not in the paragraph. Okay. Siempre van a ver la palabra except o oh, cuál otra palabra dijimos? Another word for negative questions? Not, not. Not. Very good. All right. Very good. Right. For example, aquí está la palabra except. Okay. Um, very good. Oh, aquí está la palabra not. Okay. So you're going to see that in, in the questions, right? All right. Uh, aprendimos skimming and scanning yesterday, right? We looked at skimming and scanning. Very important. Very important. All right. So remember, ¿qué me puede explicar? What is skimming? Easy. Who can explain to me? I'm sorry. Me. Repeat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, Let, uh, Melody, I hear you, but I hear you como de lejos, like far away. I don't know. And now? Yes, better. It's seeking for the main idea of a paragraph. Excellent. And normally, where is it, Melody? Where do you find the main idea? It is to, to be at the beginning. Yes, very good. It's usually in the beginning. Excellent. That is skimming, right? We're looking for the main idea, okay? Something that can help you also look for the main idea is look at the question, right? Identify the question. Okay. Um, also, we looked at scanning. Who can explain to me what is scanning? Me. Yes. Is when you're reading a paragraph and you are looking for keywords? Yes, correct. You're looking for keywords in the in the in the paragraph, right? Also, you're looking for maybe a name, number, a year. Okay, all that can be important, right? Um, so lo voy a escribir aquí. You can look for a name, a year, maybe a number, right? Um, maybe what else? What else? Uh, maybe uh, a specific keyword. I'll put a keyword. Okay, so that that is basically what you're doing when you're skimming, right? For example, right? Uh, digamos que mi pregunta aquí dice, what happened in 1820s? Right? Digamos, right? For example, what happened in the 1820s? Right? I'm like, oh, okay. So I have to. I have to look for information from the 1820s, right? So if I, my questions is 1820, I have to look at the paragraph. Yo voy a buscar ese número. Voy a buscar ese año, 1820. Okay? So that's going to help me. All right, excellent. So correct, right? It's uh, scan, scanning. We're looking for specific keywords, okay? What is something that you should always do before scanning? What is something that you should do before scanning? Read the question. Read, read the question. question. Yes. And then read the uh, the, the answers. Mean, the answers. Okay. Very good. Now I recommend that you read the question. Right. Trabajen en este orden. This is this is my recommendation to you. Right. Uh, for scanning. Right. Estamos hablando de scanning right now. Right. So my recommendation is that number one, read the question. Number two, scan. Number three, read the answers. Okay, this is my recommendation to you. Yeah, right. That's my recommendation to you. And sometimes you have to go back and scan, right? You have to repeat number two, scan, sometimes. Okay, very good. So skimming and scanning is going to be a powerful tool that you can use, right? Eh, no sé qué lo pasó a los otros. Habían 20 personas en el curso. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do, right? I don't know when, but the, the thing is this, mira, le voy a decir. In, in right now, in the educational system right now. Uh, yeah. uh -huh, I'm sorry, Melody. Tell me. Uh -huh. Eh, lo, lo que escribió podría repetirlo por favor no tome nota de ello lo del de, orden de trabajo 
Sí, por favor. Okay, all right, ya lo voy a repetir. Uh, the only thing I can tell you, right? Look, right now it is important that you have a test to show your English, right? Todos sabemos que necesitamos el inglés para trabajar, right? Whatever you're doing, marketing, sales. Eh, ya ahora no solamente un call center. No, no, olvídense de eso. And now for anything, anything you need English, right? Uh, if you work in the medical field, if you work in computers, if you work in anything, okay? So it is very important that you have a test, okay? So you have English, right? Pero ¿cómo, cómo comprobamos eso? You need to take a test. Okay, it can be, hay varios test, puede ser el TOEIC, puede ser el este, TOEFL, puede ser el CASAS, okay, puede ser, eh, hay otro, eh, ELTS, creo que se escribe así, que es en Inglaterra, all right, so, el punto es que hay varios exámenes, all right, you have to take a test to prove your English, all right. Así están las cosas ahora. All right, I'm sorry, so, can I ask a question? Uh huh. Yes. That I'm actually dying to ask. Uh -huh. um, why is it important for us to prove our level of English if, like, we are, for example, for this uh, TOEFL, I think uh -huh. that it will only last for one year, I think, uh -huh. if I'm not correct? I, uh, I don't know mistaken. if it's. I don't know if it's one year or three years, but I have to check. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the point is that why is it important for a person to have a proof of their knowledge if they, if you are already communicating and mm -hmm. and doing all of that? I mean, what what was what would be the purpose of that? For pro pro professional jobs, a, I'm talking about a career. It's important that you have something like that. It's not, it's not you, it's the employer. It's the requirements to apply for a position. It's the employer, it's not, it's not you, right? Also for, teacher, uh -huh. also when, when you wanna study abroad, you may prove that you have a academic knowledge mm -hmm. of English. Yeah, the, the TOEFL is for studying abroad. If you are going to uh, apply for a university or you're going to finish your university, you're going to use your English and you want to prove your English for academic purposes, the TOEFL is the right test. It's the, el que se pide, the TOEFL. Uh, so to answer your question, eh, no me acuerdo que me, no, no pude ver que me preguntó the, the question, why do you need a test? It's not, no es nosotros, sino los requisitos que se están imponiendo ahora, you know? It's not, it's not an institution, it's a, de hecho ni tiene que ver nada con el Ministerio de Trabajo del Salvador. Oh no, I, was, I know, it's just, I was just, you know, like wondering what will be mm -hmm. that important is because you know, someone can just have the, mm -hmm. like the certificate mm -hmm. and won't be able to communicate pretty well or the other way around. So that was, that's why I was wondering what will be the purpose yeah. of that or, you know. The thing is, look, the thing is that the, these tests, the TOEIC, the TOEFL, the CASAS, the IELTS, all these tests, you passed in the city. You can pass with one point. <laughs> And you pass the test. Nadie repasa estos exámenes, right? The, 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 the idea is that you have a score, okay? And that your score is high, right? That's what you're looking for. So for example, let's say you want to apply for, um, a, you want to be a teacher, right? Me, personally, I need a 950 points in the, in the toy. Eso me pidieron a mí for a teaching job, right? If I go teach in a university, if I go teach uh, in a, in a, in an academy, if I go teach anywhere, they're going in Safor, for example, they're going to ask. This is what they require from me, right? No solamente que tenga el toy, sino que tenga un, un puntaje mínimo, right? So most likely now, what's happening is that there are they are um, requiring a minimum points for you to have 
on one of these tests. Okay. Okay. Yes, I got it. And which one is more important? Like first toy or first coffee or it doesn't really matter. Both are good. I mean, I barrios. I there's also tests that are in Europe that here we don't have. Como el I IELTS. Hay otro que se llama Celta, spelled like this. Okay. All these tests are good, but it depends um, uh, what, what, for example, if I'm going to Europe, maybe they will ask for the TOEFL. Maybe they'll ask for the Celta. Maybe they'll ask for the TOEIC. Uh, if you're going to work with your English, maybe the best test will be the TOEIC. If you're going to study with your English, um, uh, a test like the IELTS or the CELTA or the TOEFL are good tests. It depends la necesidad, eh, para que, you know, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Got it, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, there was one question, uh, what do we do when we're scanning here? Um, alguien me preguntó al inicio, I'm looking for keywords, okay? I'm also looking for years, numbers, dates, fechas, Esa se me olvidó, fechas, dates. I'm looking for um, uh, years, numbers, days, uh, facts, okay? So this is what I'm doing when I'm scanning, right? I'm looking for this key information. Um, I also told you that you should work first. Number one, you should read the question, right? Read the question first. Number two, scan. Right, using esta herramienta scanning. And then number three, read the answers. Okay, so you can work in this order. All right, very good. Um, I also want you to uh, see this. Here, they, um, they, they, put, they actually put a reference. For example, I keep on in paragraph one. Aquí arriba, paragraph one. And the question is paragraph one, okay? Why, why am I showing you this? Because at the beginning of the test, te presentan todo el pasaje, todo el artículo, que puede ser five paragraphs, okay? So when you look at that, you're like, wow, five paragraphs. Tengo que leer todo eso. No, you don't. You can start answering the questions. And the question is going to give you the paragraph here, okay? Because at the beginning of the, of the reading section, te presentan los cinco de un solo, the five paragraphs, right? And that's too much to read. You're going to waste a lot of time. What you can do is go to the answers, I'm sorry, go to the questions, and you're going to see the the paragraph in the question. All right. Any questions so far? Any questions? Ah, something else that we said, be careful with the questions because some can be in the past, okay? We have did, auxiliary verb did, that means it's in the past. So that, uh, something that you have to be careful with. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, let's go now to, this is the difference between skimming and scanning. Vale la pena repasar, because this is very important too. Skimming, I'm looking for the main idea, what it's about. I'm not looking for details. I just want to understand what it is about. It's usually at the beginning of the passage. Scanning is going to be details, facts, names, numbers, dates. I'm looking for supporting details is usually inside a paragraph. Um, the author's opinion is at the end of the paragraph sometimes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go now to factual information questions. Um, este es otro video que estaba allí también en la plataforma. Factual information questions are WH questions. Oops, sorry, sorry. Perdón, dejé de compartir. No sé si pueden ver ahora sí. Yes. Okay. Factual information questions. Factual information questions are very simple. Simplemente son esos WH questions. Son bien directas, right? Information questions. 
So no voy a pasar mucho tiempo ahí. Um, factual information questions. Uh, today, I want to look at inferences and rhetorical purpose questions. All right, so this is another type of questions that are going to be on the, to on the TOEFL. So let's look at these questions. Inferences. Inferences, um, you're going to see that the question asks you, asks you for that directly. Aquí está. What can be inferred from the information in the paragraph? Okay. ¿Qué quiere decir infer? What is the meaning of the, of the term? What is infer? inferir? Correct, right? In, inferir. So that means that I have to use my opinion, my logic, right? I have to, it's going to be subjective. I have to give a logical answer, okay? So the answers, specifically here, the answers no van a estar escritas literalmente así in the paragraph, right? Estas son como conclusiones, right? Right? The good thing is uh, I don't have to read everything. I can use skimming and scanning, okay? Let's do uh, skimming. What is this about? Usemos la herramienta, skimming. What is the main idea? Okay, ¿ya encontraron la main idea of this paragraph? Yeah, the diversity of life on the planet. Mm -hmm. All right, that puede ser. Diversion, diversity of life on the planet. Okay. And para mí esto resalta. Speciation. Y aquí me dan la definición. The formation of two species from one original species. So this is the main idea, okay? Right? No, no significa que sé todo lo que está ahí, right? I just have scheming, main idea. Okay, very good. So with that, can we eliminate some answers? Vamos a ver si podemos eliminar, number one. There are likely more than two categories that the mechanism of speciation could be classified. Okay, maybe. The concept of speciation and the mechanism by which it occurs are not fully understood by biologists. Maybe. Darwin did not believe that the diagrams added any value to his work. Mm, esa suena como un poquito fuera, right? There are a few conditions that must be met in order for a speciation to occur. Maybe, okay. Now we can go to uh, scanning, okay? Pueden ustedes leer, le voy a dar un minuto. So you guys can look at it. I'll give you two minutes. Okay. All right, very good. Yo le di así una lectura rápida, just a, a quick scan, okay? So let's look at the options, right? Number one, there are likely more than two categories of the mechanism of speciation could be classified under. Habló más de dos? No, it was only talking about two. 
Two, yes, two is right. peace. Mm -hmm. Aquí dice, ¿verdad? Two. 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 So, A, nah. The concept of speciation and the mechanisms by which it occurs are not fully understood by biologists. B, pero según yo veo que sí pueden definir bien. Es decir, está bien explicado. Right? Yeah, they could understand. So they could understand, right? So B, no. C, Darwin did not believe that diagrams added any value to his work. No, aquí dice Darwin envisioned this process of branching out and diagram the process. Es decir, para él, diagrams were important. So the correct answer would be D. Okay. Very good. So be careful with this, right? Because number one, suena bonita, right? But the problem with number one is the same more, more than two. More than two? No, aquí solo me explicaron dos. Right? So be careful with that. Okay. The concept of speciation and the mechanism by, by which it occurs is not fully understood. Es decir, los científicos no entienden el proceso? No. They understand it. Right? Darwin explained it. C. Darwin did not believe diagrams added any value to his work. ¿Dónde está la palabra diagrams here? I'm going to match it with here. Right? Categories, la palabra categories, I'm going to match it here. Right? So tienen que volverse, right? Scanning, por eso scanning le va, le va a ayudar con keywords, right? All right, excellent. Good job. Questions, does anybody have any questions? Right? Now, for example, si ahora me preguntan, give me information about the article, a mí ya se me olvidó. <laughs> Honestly, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> right? Pero de eso se trata, right? I'm not going to memorize this information. All right. Let's go to the next one. So, inferior questions, right? Very important, inferior questions. Okay? Now, besides the word inference, right? There's another word that is similar in the question. You're going to see it. Sometimes it says imply, suggest, or inferred. Son sinónimos. These are synonym words. Okay. So sometimes you're going to see these words also there, right? Let's do, let's try this one, right? I'm going to give you one minute to go ahead and look at the, uh, this article. Let's do, let's do scheming. Let's do the process of scheming together. Ese sí lo podemos hacer juntos, right? Scheming. What is the article about? About Margaret Fuller. Margaret Fuller, very good. So this is most likely, it's, I see a name here, right? So it's going to be like a autobiography, right? Van a hablar de una persona, biography. And a transcendentalist. Okay. Very good. So that's that's the main idea. Ya hice skimming. Finish with skimming. Now let's do scanning. What can be inferred about Margaret Fuller from the information in the paragraph six? All right, I'm going to give you two minutes. Okay, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, let's check it out. 
All right, it says, uh, what can be inferred about Margaret Fuller from the information? Number one, she was the most famous transcendentalist of her time. Esta creo que la vimos ayer, right? Mm, maybe. B, she attended Harvard Uni University even though women were not allowed at that time. Um, no, ¿verdad? Porque aquí no dice nada de que she attended Harvard University. De hecho, dice she could not attend. C, she held positions that most women did not in her time. Maybe, maybe. D, she only reviewed books that were of interest to her while at the New York Tribune. No, right? This is definitely not. Right? Aquí dice she reviewed books, pero no nos dice nada de que solamente vio lo que le gustaba. No, she just, she reviewed books. All right, so it's between A and C. What do you have? What is your answer? A. Okay. Who says A? B. I Who says B? B. Okay, very good. What, uh, why do you say A? Why do you say A? I say A because even though at the beginning of the paragraph they mm -hmm. are mentioning uh, equality, at the end it's not really saying anything else about equality or women or something like that specifically. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm choosing A. Okay. So A says she was the most famous transcendentalist, <laughs> transcendentalist of her time. I don't know. Uh, it says yeah. here, right? She it became a leading transcendentalist and advocate for women's equalities. She was friends with Emerson, Thero, and other intellectuals of her day. C says, right? So I thought A, maybe. C says she held positions that most women did not in her time. Maybe. I think it's C, the By correct the answer. Of elimination? C. Mm -hmm. By process of elimination, I think it's C. Yes, by a process of elimination and then looking at other parts of the article, right? Looking at other parts of the article where it's talking about algunas las cosas que hizo, right? Uh, I think it will be C, okay? Very good, All right? So, lo bueno es que en un ratito, eliminamos la mitad, right? So that's good. We did 50% there. Creo que en menos de un minuto, we did 50, 50%, right? So we are increasing our chances of getting the right answer by 50%, that's good, okay? All right, let's look at another example. Uh, let's look at this one. Uh, este sí no lo hemos visto, este no lo vimos before. So let's look at it. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let's do skimming. What is the main idea of this article? Skimming. Romanticism influence ideas. Okay, very good. Ahí está, right? Eso es lo que resalta. Eh, resalta Emerson, the person, and then this. Romanticism influence ideas. All right. Very good, very good. So skimming, ahí está. Let's do scanning. Let's read the question. Why does the author say his romanticism influence ideas? Okay, so donde está eso? Aquí, right? Ya encontré allí eso. So uh, here, rhetor, ah, ya. No me di cuenta, pero ya eh, llegamos a las, ot la, eh, las otras preguntas que les quería enseñar, que eras, eh, son rhetorical questions. Rhetorical questions answer why. Okay. Siempre van a empezar con why. Okay. All right. So I'm looking for a reason. I'm looking for a reason, una razón. That's really what I'm looking for. Okay. I give, I'm going to give you one minute to look at it and try to find the correct answer.
Okay, ready? So we're looking for a reason. Uh, let's read the answers. A, to show that his ideas were romantic in nature. Mm. Es decir, él habló del amor, de enamorar a una chica. No, right? Mm -mm. No. So, no. A, not, not an option. B, to explain why he published his essay, Nature and Self-Reliance. Mm, maybe. But I don't think it, it, that's, that's the reason why. Mm -hmm. C, to show that his beliefs were inspired by the romanticists he met. Maybe. He doesn't really say. That, that can be. D, to prove that his ideas came from other sources. What do you think? I think B is incorrect. Mm -hmm. So I think it's between C and D. What do you think? I think it's D because I can't really find anything relating to C in the paragraph. Okay, very good. For example, aquí dice that he met other people. Es decir, conoció a otras personas. Is, does the article is, say anything about that, that he met other people? No. No, right? So I think that you're good. Sería una buena opción, D. Okay? It would be a good, good option. Okay? Right. So, no les puedo eh, dar la respuesta porque como... Tomé este examen de YouTube. Es un examen práctica. No me dieron una respuesta. <laughs> All right. So I don't have it, right? But I think that using the process of elimination, using skimming and scanning, using keywords, we can get to the right answer. All right. Let's see. Maybe I have one more. All right. I have one more. Let's look at this. Rhetorical questions. All right, remember, rhetorical questions, you're going to see the word why. Siempre, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? So you're looking for a reason for something. Why does the author discuss the British invented band saw? All right, so let's, let, let's do a skimming first. The, com the commercialization of lumber was, was in part the product of technological change. So what is the article about? Aquí está, ¿verdad? This is the main idea of the article, right? Uh, what is lumber? Aquí hay una palabra clave. Dealing with wood. Mm -hmm. Wood. Mm -hmm. Lumber is basically wood. Woodworking. Uh -huh. Sort of. Very good. So let's do now, let's, I'm going to give you one minute to go ahead and read, do some scanning. Okay, one minute. Okay, very good. Why does the author discuss the British invented band saw? Right, encontraron esa frase, ahí está, verdad, está en azul. Right, the phrase is right there, right, in the article, okay? A, to give an example of how steam power led to technological advancement. Steam power? I think no, ¿verdad? Porque no está hablando de steam power, aunque lo menciona, but it's not the focus yeah. of the article. Okay. B, to help explain 
how the thickness of a saw blade determines how much wood is wasted? Maybe. C, to explain how competition with other countries benefited the American lumber industry. Is it talking about other countries? No, right? it's not the focus of the article, right? So ya eliminamos dos. D, to illustrate the impact of new technology in the lumber industry. Maybe? Sounds. Something? Okay, so it's between C, uh, B and D. What do you think? I think it's D because that is actually what is mentioning at the very beginning of the of the particle. Uh-huh, uh, commercialization yeah. of lumber was part of the technological change. Okay, yeah, very uh, good. It can be, right? Aquí está. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And B, it's only mentioned once in the whole thing, and then it's forgotten for another, for other technological stuff. That That's a so, very good point. Mm -hmm. That's a very good point. Um, ¿Quién es? Eh, Miguel, very good. Miguel. Uh, right, that's a good point. So he says, it's mentioned one time in the article and then it, it's, it's forgotten about. And then the rest of the article focuses on, on streamlined production, efficient, right? Okay, they can heat ponds, uh, right? So it's more for the, the rest of the article focuses on the technological changes, right? Very good. So the correct answer would probably be D. I, I will choose D. I don't know about you, but I would choose D. All right, very good, excellent job. So the rhetorical question is similar to the inference, right? Es decir, estas opciones no las van a encontrar aquí literalmente, right? That's, that's the point of these questions, right? All right, excellent. Any questions, comments? No sé, tal vez algunos. Hey, Miguel, do you have a comment or something, observation? Not really. Okay. All right, very good. So rhetorical questions. Sometimes I've seen this also. Which is best? ¿Cuál es la mejor? Right, like the answer. They give you choices, right? Which one, uh, according to paragraph six, which best describes Gilbert? Okay. So scheming. Gilbert was another influential industrial and organizational psychologist who strove to find ways to increase productivity. Okay, scheming. All right. All right. Creo que esta es la última. Let's try this one. All right. I'll give you one minute. Okay, very good. So which one best describes her, right? So these, no la vamos a encontrar aquí, literal, right? They're inferences, right? They're uh, subjective. A, she was an organization psychologist focused on studying teachers. Mm, no, right? She, no. she was not studying teachers. B, she was fatigued and stressed about time when she was an employee. No. No dice que está estresada. No. C, she is one of the most famous psychologists in her field. Mm, maybe, maybe, could be, maybe. right? Maybe. And D, she is sometimes referred to as the mother of mother, uh, mother management. 
right? La cual encontramos aquí. Okay. So which one would you think? I think this one is tricky because it's not mentioning that she's the most famous, but also it's not mentioning that she is sometimes referred um, to I as the mother of that's, modern that's management. That's the best to describe D. Mm -hmm. yes. I think it's C. For it's me, it's letter D. D. The best describe her. For me, okay. it's letter C. Okay, some people say C or B. Okay. Uh, D. Why do you say, somebody say, well, let's choose. Did anybody choose A? And she's known as the, oh, well, no, I don't, I don't choose A. Okay. She's D. Did anybody choose B? No. No. No? Okay, so A and B, no. Did anybody choose C? I did. Okay, all right. Why do you choose uh, C? Well, first off, as uh, she was an, uh, another influential, as it says in this in the beginning, mm -hmm. as the she was very uh, she was influential in the in this in her area of sociology, and she even got a nickname or a, well a nickname relating to her what what was the word to the things that she achieved mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. her field of psychology. Yeah, yeah. So All I right. think so you think it's a nickname C is, is sort of a big deal in this case. Okay. All right. So it's she's one the, of the most the famous. Most famous. No, ah, one, of. one of the most famous. Ah, okay. Very good. So she said it says here she was another influential Another influential Just psychologist. Okay, very good. Puede ser. It could be. See? Or she is sometimes referred to as the mother of modern management. She's known as the mother of modern management. Mm -hmm. She's not sometimes referred to. She's known as. Okay, very good. So if we read carefully, okay. maybe, maybe it will be C. Okay? Not the way yeah. that you're wrong, but... It, between C and B, uh, C and D, pardon. Uh, who chose D? Did anybody choose D? I did. Okay, why did you choose D? Because of the, what he says in the test. He mm -hmm. says, and she is known, and she is known as the mother of modern management mm -hmm. because everything is related on what she did. See, the psychologist management, mm -hmm. the function of the mind of determining teaching and, mm -hmm. and all the, 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 the text mm -hmm. is related okay. with. Okay, very good. So here, look, the only thing you have to be careful, um, read the question, which best describes? Describes. Mm -hmm. So they, we're looking for an adjective. Teacher, mm -hmm. for me, it's letter C. Because um, in in letter D, um, it talks about uh, she's just referred to as the mother of mother management. Mm -hmm. But the whole paragraph is talking about all the things that she has done. So okay. for okay. me, is one of the most famous psychologists in her field. Okay. All right. Very good. Right. It can be definitely, definitely. It's a good answer. It's a valid answer. So I would choose C, but it, puedo estar equivocado. honestly, it can be between yeah. C and D. All right. Now the purpose is right. That you guys get to this page, right? Eh, eliminar la mitad, understand the topic, skimming and scanning, and you can do it fast, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for example, I think we did it in one minute, right? We did it in one minute. So that's good. That's good, right? And remember how many questions on the reading section? Remember? 30, right? It depends. Uh... Yeah, it depends because we said that you were gonna have some extra questions that are not graded, right? Que te tiran unas ahí gratis, but you're, they don't count those, right? But it, 
it's around 30. Digamos que son ahí so, más o menos between 28 and 30. Because in, in my case, the test that I need to take, uh, mm -hmm. it is for, uh, there are 50 questions that I need to pass in this section. For reading. Reading, yes. Mm -hmm. There are uh, five uh, uh, paragraphs. Mm -hmm. uh, for each paragraph, you need to complete uh, 10, uh, 10 or 11 or 12 questions. 10 questions, okay. Yeah. All right, puede ser, right? For example, that the, de hecho, allí el, el video que les pasé decía, you can have three large sections, three large paragraphs, or five short paragraphs. Yeah, right. Remember? So yeah, it can change. It can change. Now, let's say, for example, that you spend one minute for each question and you have 60 minutes. Más o menos, ¿cuánto tiempo tengo? Two Six. minutes. Mm -hmm. I have more or less like two minutes for each, for each uh, question, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Más o menos. Okay? So if you can do it under one minute, you're good. Right. Very good. Did you have problem with uh, with time, Juan? Did you have problems uh, yes, with, with time? Uh, el, tiempo, el tiempo te molestó. Like it was difficult. Uh, in reading section, uh, I don't have a problem, mm -hmm. but I have a I have a problem with grammar. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I'm trying to work on that because grammar. Uh, the test that I need to take, mm -hmm. it has uh, few questions and have only 25 minutes. And mm -hmm. also for listening, uh, I have uh, 35 minutes and I need to complete uh, 50 questions. I have like a 12 seconds for each question. Mm -hmm. For listening. For listening, yes. Mm -hmm. And Sí, es que, es que la, la versión que tú has tomado, no sé, tal vez está solamente como like for universities. I don't know. Um, I have to check. But the, the version that I'm seeing is the one that I, the information that I got from there. All right. I have uh, the mm -hmm. results. Uh, I have the results right here on mm -hmm. my computer. And I can share with you in another occasion if you want. Yeah, yeah send me a message uh, personally. No lo pongas ahí en el grupo, sino que just send me a message personally. Okay, we'll, yes, we'll I'm going to that. share the information. Okay, okay. That's fine. thank you. Very good, very good. So we have uh, maybe five more minutes. Um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Right? No. So I think we did we did pretty good, right? You did skimming, yeah. you did scanning, you uh, eliminated 50% of the answers, increase your chances of getting the right answer by 50%. Uh, you use scanning to look for keywords, phrases. Uh, estas son un poquito subjetivas, right? These questions are subjective, right? Because you have to think uh, what, what is inferred, uh, why, why is the person saying this, okay? All right, very good. So we'll leave it here. Um, trabajo de plataforma, you guys doing the, 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 the questions that are on the platform? Quiero mostrarles. Um, La plataforma por si hay alguna pregunta, right? Um, the website is online.inglescorporativo.net. That's the website, right? Ya cuando ingresas tu password y todo, um, it's going to take you here. Curso de preparación de TOEFL, module, module one. And then uh, here it says a reading practice, three questions. Reading practice one question. Uh, so it's homework, right? So for example, I go here and I'm going to see three different exercises. Did anybody have a question about this? Alguna pregunta? Questions? All right, I tell paragraph. Okay. All right. Vamos a seguir viendo los tipos de preguntas. Hay otro tipo de preguntas en el reading section uh, that, is, that, are, that we're going to look at. Okay. All right. So do the homework there. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right. So aquí, uh, I'm, I'm in this section, right? So look, yo estoy en la computadora, right? No sé cómo, cómo aparece en el teléfono, but look, 
Uh, be careful here because you have this one, this one, and this one. Dice three questions, right? Ayer anteriormente decía three questions, pero no son three questions, sino que son tres secciones. Uh, here. So be careful with that, right? No solamente hagan esta. This one, this one, and this one. All right. Uh, so you can finish section one this week, right? So solo tenemos clase mañana para esta semana, Monday through Thursday. All right. Todos tienen el, el contraseña, password, emails. Eh, alguien bloqueó su acceso. Alguien bloqueó el contra, la contraseña. Yeah, I got it, but yes, but I got it. Uh, I did, but I got it today. Oh, you got it today? Okay. So I got in. Yeah, right. I got it today. Thank All you. All right. So, ¿ya ingresaste ahí, Wilfredo? Ya, ya ingresé. Okay. Ya ingresé right. y estuve haciendo mi primer... Uh, Homework. Okay, right? Homework. There's some, some sections there that you guys can do. Also, my recommendation, right, is that you go to YouTube and that you uh, put to TOEFL test reading practice, and you're going to see a lot of different tests there. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Also, I'm going to give you a website. Se la poner ahí en el grupo. I'm going to send it to you there. Uh, the name of the mm -hmm. website that you guys can look at for more information. Um, de hecho, habla de, 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 de bastante la información que estoy compartiendo de ustedes. Eh, es de, de ahí. All okay. right. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, anything else? Eh, eh, no sé, no, eh, la, el, el primer día estuvimos hablando un poquito. Quiero saber por qué están tomando el examen. Why are you guys taking the test? Um, yo sé que Juan lo necesita for university. Miguel, do you need it for the university? As I told you, mm -hmm. I need it for my resume. I want to make it stronger. For your resume. For your resume. Yeah. Yep. Okay. For my resume. What about you, Idalia? What about you? Why are you taking the test? I'm taking this test because, well, I don't know why, because... I was take I was taking the last mm -hmm. the last English class like mm -hmm. like there and I thought I mm -hmm. I will be in a new one in mm -hmm. like I mean in a new in a new course intense intensity level I think so when I saw when I saw the group the chat board I saw you're going to prepare for the TOEFL test. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, <laughs> bye. So did yeah. you finish the advanced course here? Yeah, I finished the advanced course and you I too? didn't know that, I didn't know oh, that I would take this, okay. this course. Okay, Miguel también, you finished the course here, advanced? Yeah, for me it's the same. Well, mm -hmm. plus I see the opportunity if I can take it. It's yeah. the best. I it's good. It's good that you, you always learn because you need the test anyways. You, you're going to need the TOEIC. You're going to need the CASA. You're going to need the, the TOEFL. Look, the only industry that I can think of right now where you don't need the test is, is maybe a call center. The call center is not going to ask you for the test. Okay. It, it looks good in your, in your resume. It looks good, but they're not going to ask you for that, right? But if you want to take another course, study online, go to the university, apply for a job, they're going to ask you for that. Okay, uh, what else? Who else? Uh, Melody, why are you taking the test? One more person, I just want to hear. Melody? I don't know if you're there. Hello? Yes. Tell me, why are you taking the test? Okay, I'm take I'm gonna take the test because it will look very good in my CV. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, all right, very good. Definitely, it looks good. It looks good that you guys have that diploma there and anything. All right, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Then take care. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm, I'll send you more information on the group. Thank okay, you. have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.